Hey guys, today we're talking about heart water again. I realized I did not finish the series and I did not tell you guys exactly what I did to stop the heart water damage and to repair my hair. So this is what this video is about and if you want to hear it, stay tuned. Before we get started with this video, if you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed, please take a second to go and hit that red subscribe button. It is always free and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can see the latest things that are happening on this channel. And if you do not mind, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Okay guys, um, I looked back on my past videos and then I got a few comments about, okay, so what did you do to repair your hair from hard water damage? And I am so sorry guys. I just don't know what I was thinking. I thought that I had uh, explained everything and I said it, but then when I went back and I looked at my videos myself, I realized, okay, girl, you left them hanging. Like, go back and redo this video and just get it out there. So um, I will post a picture and um, show you guys the before and after. Without further ado, let me jump right into it and tell you guys what I did to uh, help repair my hair. The products that you use are very, very, very important at this time, and the way that you manipulate your hair is extremely important. Um, first of all, of course, you want to stop using that water, whatever the water is, um, whether it's your home water or maybe you're in the military and you're using ship water. I don't know. Whatever it is, stop using it right now. Okay, get a bottle of distilled water. Distilled water is awesome for your hair. It cleans your hair. It gets all of that um, mineral buildup out of your hair. So it's important to use distilled water. I still use distilled water right now. Um, I use it on my girl's hair. I use it on my hair because I'm just a firm believer that distilled water is the best water for your hair. And during the process of me trying to repair my hair and trying to figure out, okay, what can I use on my hair? I used, um, I tried to use purified water, which is like garbage. Um, I used spring water, garbage. And the best thing I could find was the distilled water. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is during this time uh, for your hair, you want to use products that are not cheap, uh, a good quality product, product that adds um, slip to your hair because your hair is extremely fragile. Um, my hair was so brittle and it didn't have any elasticity to it. So uh, when I went to comb it out, it would break off. Um, you have to be extremely gentle. And that's another thing about manipulation. Stop touching your hair. And I know as much as you want to co-wash your hair every day, that is a bad idea if you already have severe damage to your hair with hard water. And this is strictly for hard water, not of uh, any other kind of damage. I'm strictly talking about hard water because your hair is so fragile at this point that it cannot take manipulation every single day. Now, as for how often to shampoo your hair or deep condition your hair, I would say try to deep condition your hair at least once a week. Once a week should suffice. Anything past that, it might be a little bit too much manipulation. And right now, you really wanna practice your protective styles very 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 important with me i did this i deep conditioned my hair once a week and i would put my hair in twist or i would put my hair in a low bun or a low uh, ponytail with a plait in it just to protect my ends and you do want to trim your hair because all that hair is pretty much dead on the ends even though you can get some of it to bounce back and some of it to retain moisture um, but it is a long process if you're not doing it right. When I say don't skim, skim on your products, don't go and buy like the cheapest product that you can buy. And I'm not saying you have to buy a $50 product. I'm not saying that at all. But do your research and know what expensive product to buy and look up reviews. My favorite product that I used, and I think that was a little expensive, for me, I don't know what everybody else's pocket looks like, but to me, $30 on a product is a little much for me because I have three daughters and we all use the same shampoo. So by the time I get a bottle of shampoo, it's only good for a couple of washes and I'm out. So I use this um, Redken, it's the Clean Maniac. This stuff is awesome. It's just awesome. That's all I can say. 
it put a lot of shine back into my hair it put um elasticity back in my hair retkin is a really really good brand um i'm a firm believer in this one right here. i've never tried their other shampoos or conditioner conditioners so i cannot say speak for all of them but i know that one in particular it gave me a lot of shine back into my hair and a lot of moisture um and also i use this redken extreme anti-snap and it's good for breakage so you absolutely positively need something that's going to help your hair uh stop breaking and something that's going to try to get that elasticity back in it because that's what it's all about when that hard water hits your hair it takes away the the life out of your hair, the elasticity, the shine, the color, everything. So you want something that's gonna give you that back. I used the Apogee, I used their line. They have the, this is the leave-in conditioner because I cannot find my other bottle. Other bottles, it's like a leave-in conditioner, a regular conditioner, um, uh, a protein treatment. And I only use that probably um, maybe once or twice a month. And that helps to stop breakage as well and helps with um to strengthen your hair back and also everybody should know this by now or everybody maybe knows this by now but if you don't the oil for your hair is extremely important um i use i use this castor oil i use um olive oil africa's best oil any kind of oil that i could really get my hands on because my hair um, it was like it was in a shock state where she could not penetrate through the strands of hair. Over time, you'll see the change in your hair. You'll see the elasticity getting back. Um, and for those of you who have like slight damage, you should be able to see a difference in your hair within two to three months, I would say. I had severe damage, so it took me, it was a process for me. Um, I saw that my hair was getting back healthy within... It was started growing back within maybe a year. It took a year for my hair to even start back growing. It was like my hair didn't know what to do. Um, it had never been that damaged before. I usually have really, really easy to manage hair, but with the hard water situation, my hair was extremely tangled and extremely hard to manage. So a lot of times I, I would just deep condition and just put it back in the bun because I did not want to deal with it. I did not even want to see it because I got knots on my hair and like I said, it, was just, it just looked dead. So just to repair your hair, it's just a matter of being patient with your hair and low manipulation and deep conditioning. But the number one thing you can do is use distilled water. I cannot stress that enough and I cannot stress enough to get a good product and not just any product get a clarifying shampoo is um that you know is a good quality uh i hope this helps you guys and i hope that um you get something out of this and i hope that your hair is repaired because i don't want anybody here to suffer as much as mine do your best not to manipulate your hair so i think i've touched all the points that I wanted to or I've expressed everything that I wanted to to you guys and I think that's it you guys so I will see you in the next one thanks for watching